Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer and this is the Daily Gaming News for the 19th of April 2016. Guile coming to Street Fighter V later this month. Guile will release as a free trial for all players until the Real Money Zenny store opens. His classic Air Force based stage will be available in game for 70,000 fight money. Guile will be included in the season pass. Capcom have also announced that the April update will include a new system to deal with the game's rage quitting problem by warning players with high disconnect rates before locking them out of matchmaking altogether for a period of time. No specific release date has been given for the update at this stage. Blizzard announces World of Warcraft Legion release date. The Legion expansion will launch worldwide on August 30. The expansion continues the storyline from where the Warlords of Draenor expansion left off. There will be both standard and digital deluxe editions of the expansion. The digital deluxe edition will contain bonus items for Diablo 3 and Starcraft 2, as well as a mount that can be used in both World of Warcraft and Heroes of the Storm. Overwatch beta to close on April 25th. Blizzard will end the Overwatch beta that began in the middle of last year next week. After the beta closes, players will get another opportunity to experience the game before launch when the open beta begins on May the 2nd for pre-orders and May 4th for everyone else. The open beta will feature the complete game, but player progress will not carry over once the full game launches on May 24th. Summer Games Done Quick Schedule announced. The annual event will be happening from July 3rd to July 10 in Minneapolis. The event consists of a week's worth of speedruns of all kinds of games from classics to relatively recent titles. First time games appearing at this event include Wolfenstein the Old Blood, Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, Child of Light, and Fallout 4. There will also be many GDQ favourites, including Super Mario Sunshine, Ocarina of Time, several Mega Man games, Tetris the Grandmaster, Super Metroid, and the Tazbot block. The finale will be an any percent run of Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. Minor Dark Souls 3 patch adjusts some weapons and fixes bugs. The patch brings the console versions to 1.04 and the PC version to 1.03.1. The Great Sword, Dancer's Enchanted Sword, Winged Knight Twin Axes, Soul's Great Sword and Farron Flash Sword have all had performance adjustments. An issue that prevented some items from being used in Road of Sacrifices, Farron Keep and Cathedral of the Deep once the game has been cleared has been fixed. Bandai Namco also also announced that Dark Souls 3 is the fastest selling game in the history of its US division. That's all the gaming news for today, we'll leave you with a trailer for Steven's Sausage Roll which launched on Steam this week.